Yeah, look, obviously it's a dream to, to play for South Africa and to, to be honest, to, to be involved in, I'm going to call it all four series of the T20 one days for England and Australia. Um, you know, obviously what's happened in the past, happened in the past, I'm not gonna, we're not going to divulge into any of that stuff. But I mean, look, it's obviously great to be a part of the system. It's a very competitive system at the moment with everyone, I mean, everyone's kind of putting their hands up. There's There's been different man of the matches in most of our games, which is really exciting to see. And again, we've played very well as a team in this in this 3-0 series win against Australia. I didn't really know what I was what I was thinking. I, I, I did see they were a little bit deep there on the leg side, so if he was going full, uh, I was going to try and get a two. Um, it, it was amazing, uh, the excitement, obviously. I think there was 50 of my family here. Um, uh, and for them to, to see that moment, um, my first One Day 100 was, uh, was very special for me and I think for them as well. Oh look, it's part of the game. Uh, it's disappointing, I'm disappointed, not because I didn't score runs for them, but because we lost and, you know, if I got a duck and we, and we won the game, then it's all right, you've won the game. Um, so disappointing to lose, um, but, you know, for, for me to, to obviously be able to turn around today, um, obviously 250 was probably not enough on that wicket and, you know, there's probably a few different things that, 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 we could, that I could have done, but, um, you know, it's disappointing to lose. I think, you know, it's always, yeah, it's nice to score, score 100, but, you know, to, to lose a game is still very disappointing. It's an added string to, to my bow, if I can put it like that. Um, I feel I've actually, in the last couple of years, in the Mzansi League, in, in Warriors, all those kind of cricket, I've really put my name in the hat with the ball. I've bowled really well, and, and obviously I've, I've still had to kind of produce the numbers with the bat. Um, but you know, team selection, but Mark said it all along, he can't pick 15 guys, he's got to pick 11, that's the way the team, you have to balance your team, um, and that all depends on conditions some days. At the moment, I'm kind of just taking it series by series. Um, I think obviously we've got India now, who, who obviously are one of the best sides in the world. Many people say they are the best side in the world, and in their conditions, they're going to be extremely difficult to beat. Um, so it's going to be a, a good test for us again. We've obviously played at home so far this summer, so it'll be a great test for us to go overseas and, and to see how we can compete with one of the best sides in the world. Oh, look, we're very disappointed. Um, you know, we came here to, to win, to win both the T20 and the One Day Series, and um, to walk away, you know, obviously winning the T20s, but losing 3-0 is very disappointing. Um, you know, there's things that we need to improve on and, you know, as long as our team is learning, our, our players and our team, you know, me included, are guys learning about the game and learning from their experiences, you know, we can build towards, you know, more success in the near future. But, you know, our job is, as cricketers is to win games and unfortunately we haven't put enough good performances on the board. But, um, you know, the players in that lineup, I have no doubt um, that they're going to be able to step up in the, the very near future, uh, obviously three games back at home, uh, and put runs on the board. You know, when you've got guys like Aaron Finch, Dave Warren, Steve Smith, and, you know, they haven't got 100 for a few games, you, you should be nervous because when they, when they get them, they're going to get some big ones. So, yeah.